Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another Momblong Guides video. Just a quick video to respond to the frequently asked question what are the mountain huts like on our Montblanc courses. The huts you saw in the intro there are the Tetrus and Goute huts up on Mont Blanc. But uh, just to get started we've got a team here arriving at the Chabod hut on the Grand Paradiso which is our training peak so if we just uh, follow them inside and have a look what it's like inside you'll get a better idea about things like whether you need to bring a sleeping bag or trainers to walk around the hut and what sort of food you can expect and so on and so forth so let's just uh, go and have a quick look inside and see how we get on downstairs then put on the hut slippers no need to bring other footwear with you and then back upstairs these are the dormitories uh, they're actually quite a lot nicer than a lot of people think. Blankets are provided and normally the problem is actually being too hot rather than too cold. So the take home message is absolutely no need to bring a sleeping bag. Though some people do bring a sleeping bag liner but that's optional and personally I don't normally bother. Um, this is our sort of Montblanc guides home from home in the Chabod hut. We often have this dormitory to ourselves. Look at the facilities now. This is the uh, bathroom. You've actually got showers here, which is pretty amazing. And I have to show you this. It's actually quite important. This is the loo, which is actually pretty civilized. Um, and then the best part of the day is the evening meal, especially in Italian huts. So this is the pudding course, which is uh, uh, you normally have a choice. And they do cater for lots of different dietary requirements on the whole. Though don't expect too extravagant a meal if you have uh, very restrictive dietary requirements. So they've got a pretty decent bar as well where you can get a beer or a coffee any time of day and an occasional menu so it's worth taking some euros or a credit card up to the hut with you to take advantage of that. Breakfast in a hut at four in the morning is never a particularly jolly affair. It's self-service in the Chabot but it's still pretty pretty good. Uh, and then we just head back down the mountain. This is our third day up at the Chabot, day one up to the hut, day two hut summit hopefully uh, and back to the hut and day three back down and now we're gonna head over to Mont Blanc and see what the the huts are like over there. So this is the situation on Mont Blanc you can take a little train up to where it says Nid Egler at 2300 meters then you've got the Tetrus above that 3200 roughly and the Goute up at 3800. We'll just have a look at both of these huts uh, why we use which hut uh, and what combination you get on your course is, is kind of the subject for another video. So here we are at Tetrus now, uh, same sort of deal as the Chabot except that there's no running water so you have to bring some money to buy your own and they don't cater for any dietary requirements so you have to bear that in mind if you, if you have those. Uh, you have to organize yourself in the same way as you do as the Chabot but the facilities are the same. Uh, this is inside the hut and interestingly enough these these two guys here are gendarmes and they're enforcing the new permit system on Mont Blanc. If you want to know about that have a look at our website uh, www.montblancguides.com in the FAQ section. Still at uh, Tet Roos just outside this is the new uh, base camp and these are the base camp tents and the idea here is you you stay in the tent but you still use the hut for lavatory uh, eating and obviously you know any other thing you might want to do just hanging out in there so we haven't tried these yet actually because they've only just been put up but we, we may try them in the future we'll we'll see how that goes now we're up at 3800 meters this is the new 2012 Goute hut not perhaps the most discreet building but pretty flash hut uh, nonetheless uh, the deal is the same here as it is at Tet Roos which is to say no running water no dietary requirements though you've still got the the cake section or be 
albeit at pretty heavy prices. And then this is a dormitory, which is a little bit rabbit warreny and can feel a bit claustrophobic because you're at 3,800 meters, but of course you're, you're that much closer to the summit, so you've got that advantage. So you have to organize yourself a bit at the start, but it's actually pretty cool hanging out in these huts. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. If you've any more questions, please use the links below. Uh, other than that, we will either see you on the mountain or in the next video. Bye for now.